Eh, what, what, ah, what the hell? Huh? Explore the quarantine zone, Stripe Dragon Hotel. I just came out of the loading screen. I quit from the position I left off in the last episode. Or last part, or maybe even this part, depending on how things are timed, but... This is confusing. What the hell is a dragon... ...hotel? Do I even have a side mission for it? It's listed as a challenge! Oh! And here we go! Here are the DLC things. Interesting. Three Moons Restaurant. It used to be the most fine dining place in the whole city. The place for the whole family, or for the- for a classy evening diner. Or... Is it supposed to be dinner? For a classy evening diner? <laughs> Babe, do you want to go to diner? Yeah! Let's do that! I don't know if I just made the babe me, or... Me? Anyways, for a classy evening dinner by the candles and gentle piano to tunes. But now a scene from the hell. What? Okay, I don't know who wrote this one, but... They definitely didn't proofread it. The place for the whole family, or for a classy evening diner, by the candles and gentle piano tunes, but now a scene from the hell. It was shut off by military when infection began. People stuck inside face terror and insanity no one should go through. Okay. Do I have another one that's kind of a, a DLC thing? DLC cuisine and cargo. Hmm. Father Stash, Rebel Machete. And we passed these apartments before, after the recent mild quakes, property developers encouraged apartment owners to equip every apartment with supply packages just in case. This place, although ravaged by the hordes of infected, might still have some intact resources to claim. An earthquake might not happen for a while, but these supplies will certainly be useful to survivors now. And then we have this one, which we are in front of. And I saw it pop up on my, on the side of my thing, before we left off, but I'm just like... Really confused that it spawned me literally outside the door. It's like telling me something like you want to go to a side You want to go to quarantine, don't you? And the answer to that is no, not really. I actually want to continue the main story Really would like to Let me go ahead and kill these guys Kaboof Ow, really? Okay, let's see if he can swim Goodbye! <laughs> Whoopsie! He can't swim! What a shame! Well, all of Rice's men would be buffoons, incapable of the simple act of staying afloat. Now, swimming is a little bit of a complicated task, I can admit that, but just not being able to float in water. <laughs> That's a funny one. Although, to be fair, these guys are covered head to toe in a decent amount of gear. And we just make him join his friend. And then Rice can go, ah! I knew these idiots can't swim. He must have banged his head on the rock wall while falling down. Well, look at that, he even did. Wait. Okay, so the dead body's gonna float. But the live body that I dropped down here. Well, I want to see where it goes. Where'd he go? Here he is. Float! Float, friend! Okay, fine, don't. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to the quarantine zone. Because it's here. And it's better if I do it now than later. Striped Dragon Hotel. When the global athletic games were at their peak, this hotel hosted many sports teams. No one knows if it was one of them or if it came from outside, but the hotel became one of the first centers of the infection. The military shut it off as soon as the outbreak started, convicting all those locked inside to a fate worse than death. Now the place is in ruin, but invaluable supplies can still be found there. Ooh. Let's see if this place has a little bit of a harder area for me to go through than the last. 
When we did the supermarket quarantine zone, I was very surprised to find that every zombie was sitting in a back door and I could shoot them through the fucking doors themselves. But then I go through here, I'd rather have the zombies be spread out throughout the building. And I have to fight them all in melee combat. Terrifying melee combat. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use any guns. Unless there are- unless there was a really bad situation. <laughs> like, oh shit, look at all these enemies charging at me. Especially runners, I will shoot runners if I have to. Because they are definitely some of the harder enemies- or start some of the harder enemies to melee fight at least. I wouldn't say hard to fight in general, but like if five of them are beating my face in, that's not gonna be good. At the very least though, the opening of this quarantine zone is generally clear. For now. <gasps> hey, found one of the drops. Can't open the door just yet. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. I can't kick him. Come on! Alright. <laughs> You're just dead. How big is this hotel anyways? I can't get a good view. I guess it's only a few stories tall. And I can't enter some of these doors. So I guess I'm gonna be working my way down, maybe? That could be a thing. Go to the top floor. Go through some vents. And boom, we're back down all the way at the bottom. Maybe. Oh. It was slightly taller than I thought. <laughs> this is at least like five stories. I didn't actually count how many floors we had. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna tackle the door. <laughs> oh, that didn't work out how I wanted to. Alright, zombies! Let's do this! Eh. Uh, my sword's not doing so hot. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want the axe! The heavy splitting axe! Ha 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 ha! Oh, this guy's still alive. Ooh, but not anymore. I'm trying to see if I can affect my swing by the direction that I'm moving. Let me try that real quick. So if I go A... 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 Okay. D... Nope, that does not affect it. S... Nope, okay! Uh-oh. Fuck. Well, let's hope that doesn't attract attention. Although, to be fair, I am clearing out the entirety of the quarantine zone. I'm killing everything I can. Although, I think the point is that I'm supposed to be just grabbing the supplies and then getting the hell out. That's not what I'm about, though. Okay, so there are keycard doors. But I don't know if I actually can use the keycard doors. Because I saw a keycard down below! It didn't let me pick it up. I tried! Okay, so we have good news. There are probably a lot more zombies in consideration in this building. Oh! Nope, 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 nope. The map betrayed her. She popped up on my fucking radar. And I, <laughs> I had to fight back. But there's probably a lot more zombies hiding in these rooms. Then you would probably hope. Alright, we're gonna close the door. Hello! Just keep watching the TV. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna eat these nuts. Very tasty. Maybe you were one of the sport team members. Huh? Okay! She invited herself to die. And I'm very accepting of these things. Man, I didn't even need a health thing. I'm just eating all the food. If there was any supplies they left over, it was a healthy amount of granola bars and various other energy candy things. At least that's what I'm assuming half of these things are. Made of a log sword. Hear that? Oh, that's the music. It sounded like pew pew laser sounds. I thought so maybe someone was playing like a game. Or game menu was left on. 
You know, because sometimes yeah, menus do that. Maybe not so much pew pew, but definitely like have something going on on the screen that could make pew pew sounds. Ugh. So I checked this out completely, right? I don't think there's any drops, nothing on the table. That'd be pretty mean if someone hoarded drops inside their hotel room, considering that this is one of the first quarantine zones. Alright, just making sure no zombie's gonna pop out of the doors. Murder the shit out of me. Nope! As <laughs> soon as I saw that pulsating belly, I said fuck that shit. Thank god zombies can't open doors. Seriously, doesn't that sound like Pew Pew's laser sounds? Pew Pew Pew! Pew Pew Pew! <laughs> Completely breaks the atmosphere. Of what's going on. But only slightly. Otherwise, it's very creepy. Come on. Drop? Anything? No? Alright. Need five, and currently I found zero! I know, well, okay. Let's correct that statement. I need five, and I know where one is. Way at the bottom of an elevator shaft. <laughs> the extreme bottom of the elevator shaft. We're gonna attract some zombie attention and then go in from another side. Yeah! I was actually hoping to electrocute him by making him make contact with the body, but it didn't work out that way. Hey, there's one drop. Kaboof. I guess we got the only drop on the top floor of the building. And he's hiding away in the backside. But two guys tried hard over it. Actually, this one looks like uh, one of Rice's dudes. Which would make that make sense. One of Rice's guys. Was hidden away inside the zone. Try to take things for himself. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, it would totally make sense for Rice, who was in command of some of the military forces before he went bad. To have his military guys already inside all the quarantine zones, already trying to like grab supplies. I just really knew. I wish I knew how the how everything actually went. Oh boy! Ah! I don't know what happened. That scared me. I didn't know if it was going to fall and I was going to be on top of it, or what, but it definitely wasn't all that useful <laughs> to my mental health. Okay. Greetings there, Drop. Thank you. Can I open this up? No. So I have to find my way back up. Or maybe across. Hello. Have I been here? I have. Oh shit, but there are zombies. More zombies! More zombies everywhere! Wait, this isn't the top floor! So I haven't been here, there are just packages on the ground sometimes. Here, go to the firecrackers! And now to prepare myself. For the super amazing whirlwind attack! Oh yeah! How do you like me now? Entire group exterminated. Okay, we're on the floor directly below the other one. Got you. We're gonna leave these things here. Okay. We're gonna leave these bodies here so they can decay. And eventually... Give me what I want! Like, free entrance into a room with no zombies to try and kill me. Hello. We have a drop? We do. Three out of five. We're doing all right. 
Don't know if there are any more on this floor. But I wouldn't mind. We're gonna swap weapons real quick. Keep the machete out. I'm trying to like swap between all my melee weapons where it's appropriate. So hopefully we fight we have to fight a couple more groups of zombies. Oh wow. Fucking mega hoarders up here. Two drops? Ridiculous. I guess I'm kind of getting more adapted to the plural form of drops. Rather than just saying drop packages, which isn't right, I can just say drops. Thank you, Quarantine Zones, for allowing me to realize this. I am the king! Okay. I am the king! Really? You son of a bitch! You don't get a chance to get up! I threw all my weapons at you, man! One of them should have made contact! You still wanna live? Huh? I think he's dead. Okay, give him my shit back. <laughs> I threw all my weapons at him, and it didn't work out. Alright, so we stumbled across the one locked door across all that. Oh, shit. Did I just cut its head in half? No? Okay. I don't know if that kind of thing would have been allowed ever anywhere. <laughs> They're already approaching the limits there with Zombie Kid. But Zombie Kid with decapitated head? When almost all the other special enemies can't have a decapitated head? I don't know. I guess I must have hit. Yeah, I hit this guy's head off. At the same time, I was not expecting a screamer in here. Still have yet to find out what they'll do exactly. I, well, okay, they're gonna scream. Fucking kid. All these goddamn blocks. Look where this got everybody. Get in your room. It's a hotel, but get in your room. Mommy loves you. Stay there with her. Even if maybe that would have actually been like your mom's aunt. Well, that's a stretch. Oh, uh, your mom's sister. Which would make her your aunt. Or your daddy's lover. Or just someone completely unrelated and you're adopted. Oh, hello, drop. Completed. Challenge finished. Yeah. So I wonder if it would split up rewards between people, like... If I'm playing multiplayer and I find three of the drops and someone finds two of the drops, will it give them two-fifths of the rewards that I got? Or, well, not really what I got, but it's like overall. Or would it give everybody 7,500 points? I, I would hope so. I would hate going into a cop game and just being like, oh, by the way, you get really hard rewards. But again, with that said, I guess if you're playing co-op and you play with multiple different people, it would be really easy to exploit if you could just join in, you get 7,500 experience all the time, every time. But I, I, I wouldn't put in that effort. <laughs> So, is that everything? I think so. All right. That wasn't so bad. Family doctor. Victor's job is to delivering medicine to many survivors. Unfortunately, the medicine is close to its expiry. Expiry. Wow. <laughs> that particular combination of letters just really fucked me. 
close to its expiry date, and Victor is exhausted way past his limit. If I don't help him, the medicine will go to waste and never reach those who need it. Yeah, but... Oh, I know. Victor's here. Aha! Victor, I forgot about that. Whoa, another drop. Shenanigans! Dude, you just throwing knife your friend. That's fucked. Yatta! Oh yeah! How do you like that electric machete piercing your chest? Bet it wouldn't feel good. So, I was wondering this earlier because we did run into a couple of repeating drops. But I guess in Old Town, some of these just respawn. Or I glitched the game by going into the quarantine zone immediately after getting the drop, and it just respawned entirely. But, I'm fine with repeating drops. Because again, they do have to give you... ...slightly something to do. And respawning drops is a perfectly logical thing. At least after a certain point. Alright, there's someone in trouble here. Demolition group? Demolition group. I'm coming for help! Ow! Fuck! He cemented me while I was already falling. Oh, shit. I need to heal. Oh! You know what? It's a damn good thing I have a machete that can do incredible amounts of damage. Oh, I lost everybody. All you had to do was stay back. One last time. But nope, you fucked it up. I didn't even get that many good rewards off of them. Oh well.